Lakes of Ireland. Ireland is a beautiful place that consists of coastal and low-lying mountains, lush vegetation, and numerous navigable rivers. Ireland just has no shortage of natural wonders, and the lakes are second to none. Join me in taking a journey to see the lakes of Ireland. Welcome to All About Ireland series. This is the Lifehack Lion, the channel that gives you amazing life hacks and interesting facts. Make sure to watch this video till the end because number one has to be in your bucket list. Number 10. Lendalock Upper Lake It is one of the most visited destinations in all of Ireland. Glendalock Upper Lake is located in the Wicklow Mountains National Park and is classified as a ribbon lake with its long and narrow lake formed in a glacial trunk. The lake sits at an elevation of 130 meters above the sea level and is surrounded by the mountains, making it extremely tranquil. To the east of the lake, you can see the famous 6th century monastic settlement of Glendalock, and from the round tower, you will see another perspective, yet a jaw-dropping view of the lake. If you pass through the Wicklow Way hiking trail, you can't help but admire the lovely white water lily and broad-leaved pondweed. Along with the lower lake, the valley of these twin lakes is one of the favorite day trips from Dublin. Number 9. Loch Lane. It is a 1,900 hectare lake and the largest of the three lakes located in the Killarney National Park. Loch Lane means Lake of Learning and derived its name from the Innes Fallen Island being the center of scholarship in the early Middle Ages. The lake is also known for its salmon and brown trout fishing, so it's best to take a boat tour not only for a fishing trip but also so you can visit the other two lakes of the Killarney. Along the lake's eastern shoreline, you can also find the 15th century Ross Castle, while near the south side of the lake sits the Muckross Abbey. If you want to spot the wildlife, it is worthwhile to explore the national park by hiking along its trails. Number 8. Loch Derg It is Ireland's third largest lake that stretches through three counties of Clare, Tipperary, and Galway. Historically known as the Loch Dergert, Loch Derg boasts a 179-kilometer shoreline that is dotted with lovely towns and villages. The surrounding Irish countryside gives the lake a picturesque view, making it the perfect place to spend your weekend. You can go on hiking, cycling, and horseback riding around the lake. On the water, you can go on sailing, canoeing, kayaking, windsurfing, water skiing, and wakeboarding. There are also quite a few castles and historic sites around Loch Derg, including the 17th century Pertumna Castle, Brian Burrows Fort, and Drummondier Castle. And of course, you don't want to miss a boat ride to Holy Island the home of one of the most famous monastic sites in Ireland. Number 7. Loch Ney It is the largest lake in the entire British Isles. Loch Ney measures around 39,200 hectares and stretches across five different counties of Northern Ireland. Amazingly, this freshwater lake also supplies Northern Ireland with 40% of its water. Although the entire lake is owned by the Earl of Shaftesbury, it's open to the public to enjoy. There are marinas and water sports centers around Loch Ney, offering boat hires as well as banana boating, canoeing, sailing, windsurfing, and wakeboarding. If you don't want to get wet, you can enjoy cycling or hiking, and even playing golf right along the lake shoreline. Loch Ney is also a haven for bird watchers as it houses a large amount of birds and species that live around the lake. Number 6. Loch Ree This lake sits on the Shannon River within the Midlands of Ireland. Loch Ree is a special protection area and an important bird area due to its migratory waterfowl. However, this lake does not only attract bird watchers but also anglers as the area is classified as a mixed fishery with good stocks of trout, pike, and coarse fish. If you want to know more about history, you can also visit historic sites on the islands of Inchclaron and Inchbofin. And don't forget about the historic landmark of Rundoon Castle and the Bogwood sculptures that both sit along the lake's shoreline. Number 5. Loch Corrib 
This lake is located in the western part of Ireland and north of the Arbor city of Galway. Measuring roughly 6,800 hectares, Loch Corb is the Republic of Ireland's largest lake and the second largest in all of Ireland. The lake is home to over 360 islands, including the beautiful Inchigoyle Island known for its beaches and views of the Mom Turk Range and the mountains of Connemara. There is also the island of Case Lane in the Circe, home to the National Monument Hens Castle. Loch Corb is both a Ramsar site and a special area of conservation due to its abundance of wildlife and surrounding areas. Fortunately, fishing is allowed as the area is renowned for its wild brown trout and salmon. Number 4. Loch Allen This lake sits along the River Shannon near the Iron Mountains. Loch Allen measures around 3,500 hectares and shaped like an isosceles triangle. It is believed that this lake dates back to Mesolithic times and later became the site of ironworks. Today, Loch Allen is a popular fishing spot and hosts numerous international angling competitions throughout the year. Loch Allen also used to host regattas. If you're a nature lover, you should not miss the chance to visit the lake's stunning natural surroundings. The lake is also an important bird habitat where you can spot the red-breasted merganser, heron, jay, common sandpiper, and red pole. Number 3. Loch Urn This lake sits along the River Urn in a carboniferous limestone plateau of Northern Ireland. Loch Urn is home to around 90 islands and was once an important pilgrimage site. Today, the lake is used for recreational purposes as well as for relaxing and enjoying the scenery. Around the lake shoreline, there is a magnificent woodland where you can spot some bird species like curlew, lapwing, red shank, and snipe. There are a number of walking trails around the lower Loch Thurn, some of which are along the shorelines. Among the best are the Ely Lodge Forest, Castle Archdale Country Park, Castle Caldwell Forest, and Mogho Cliffs Walk. Number 2. Loch Con. It is a Gaelic mythological name that means the Lake of the Hounds. It is believed that the hounds belong to the Chipton Mod, drowned in Loch Con. The lake is also home of the ruins of Euro Abbot that sit on a peninsula on the northwest side of the lake. Loch Con measures around 5,700 hectares and is known for its fabulous brown trout and salmon fishing, attracting anglers from all over the world. The lake has numerous boat ramps around its shoreline and the best time to go fishing is between March and July. If you want to really enjoy the lake and its stunning surroundings, try to go on the scenic Loch Con Drive. This 140-kilometer loop passes through numerous towns, villages, and ancient ruins. And number one, here's what you've all been waiting for, Loch Derevarach. It is a boot-shaped lake that sits on the River Innie and is completely surrounded by the Loch Derevarach Natural Heritage Area giving you a spectacular and picturesque view of the lake. The heritage area is home to wetland, grassland, and woodland habitats, making it a haven for nature lovers. Loch Derefarach is also associated with one of the famous tales of Irish legend, Children of Lear. Lear's four children were famous for their beauty and were beloved by all. However, their stepmother became insanely jealous of them that she took the children out to Loch Derefarach. She led the children to the water to bathe, but as soon as they were on the lake, she struck them with a magic wand, turning them into four beautiful swans. Today, Loch Derevarach is a popular lake for enjoying recreational activities such as fishing, canoeing, kayaking, and boating. Do you know some other lakes in Ireland? Or do you have any other requests for our next video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you find this video interesting, we'd love you to support us for more life hacks and interesting facts.